Hey, I am Baz the Beer Monkey here on my own today because, well, as you know, as you might know if you live in this country, we're all under strict COVID lockdown restrictions. So we're having to make some videos on our own at the moment, but that's no problem. That's no problem. We can handle it. We can deal with it. And um, I'm going to go with this. I got this at Christmas. This is from uh, Bad Company Brewing. All right now, Bad Company Brewing. And I, I'd never had any of these before. Uh, I'd never tried any of their stuff. I'd heard plenty about them. And I picked this up and I ended, I ended up not drinking it. And I thought, why not? I'll save it. I'll save it for um, for, for a Beer Monkeys video. So I'm going to open the lid. I'm going to take a pot, a pot look. Here we go. See what we get. What we're going for, what we're going for. We're going to go for that one. Pale Aura, Pale Ale. Let's go for it, eh? We're straight in. An IPA. 3.8. There you go. Oh, it's looking good. I like that. Yeah, that's a. Uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. It's not too. It's not too clear. Not as clear as a lot. Um, plenty of fizz in there. Here we go. Bad company brewing are uh, in Dishforth in Yorkshire. <coughs> Yorkshire. Um, <laughs> Um, but let's have a go. Smells nice. It's lovely and lovely and bright. Very, very it's got a really oh, that's lovely. That's a really pleasing smell. That fresh, a real fresh smell. Again, as with all these IPAs, oh, a pale, other pale ale. Very citrus, very fruity. Let's have a taste, eh? That's nice. I think we've, I refer back to some of the other videos we've, we've made about. About the kind of more session strength ales, this is a this is a three point eight. They don't they haven't actually got that written on the can. It doesn't say it's a session a session ale. Um, I don't know who decides that whether it's just the company selling them or what. But it doesn't say that on it. But three point eight, I, I would say from the limited experience I've I've got for drinking these ales, that, that's what that would be classed as. And it, and it has that it has its own lovely individual taste, but it it also has that that real that real as I think comes with the the kind of weaker. Ales, that, that that lovely crisp clean water taste. Yeah, it's a really nice balance of kind of citrus fruit and that and that kind of water, which which I I, re I really like. I really like that. I really like that that kind of um, that kind of na makes it taste natural. It, it, it makes it taste like you're not you're not drinking anything you shouldn't be drinking if you know what I mean. Grapefruit's a grapefruit. I get I get the grapefruit. Grapefruit is. It's the common, it's the common, I, I, I often, I sometimes drink these ales, and as lovely as they are, I'm automatically not wanting to say grapefruit, because that seems to be, I don't know what it is about grapefruit. I think when we eventually start to visit some of these breweries later this year, if we can, um, due to regulations, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start asking these questions. I want to I wanna know what the grapefruit thing is. What is it with grapefruit? It's, it's, it's the go-to fruit. I mean, it's, it's, it's lovely, it's lovely, but... I almost, I'm almost looking for something else, um, but but it, but it is lovely. It is lovely. It, it, get the mango. I get the mango thing as well, definitely. Yeah, it's lovely. It's lovely. What what's not to like? That is absolutely delicious. I could probably drink, oh I don't know, four and a half of them before I need to go to bed at least. Three point eight percent. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a lovely one to try. Nice and refreshing. It doesn't. I don't think it's kicking any doors down. It's not out of the ordinary. It's not out of the blue. It's just a really nice fruity ale. If you like what we're doing, guys, like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, then uh, check out our Patreon and see what's going on there. Lots of love. Oh, wow.